Hi everybody, today I want to show my user configuration. This video is on request and there was a question about my NVIDIA control panel. So everything is default and if you have any kind of issues you should reinstall your graphic card drivers. I'm using the newest NVIDIA drivers and uh, during installation I think you have option to, to reset default values so it might be handy I'm using three different user versions uh, because some games run better on older versions for example this one is for Mario Kart 8 and this one for SNES collection but I hope they already fixed some issues, so now I can use only one uh, version. And now my configuration. So, I'm not gonna talk about everything, just important things. Uh, in general, limit speed percent should be checked and 100. I tried something like 150, but uh, it didn't affect the game, so I think it depends on game. This is very important. Multi-core CPU emulation. Uh, there are a few games which run faster on single core. It's some Legend of Zelda game, and for me it was Luigi's Mansion 3 on older user version. Confirm exit while emulation is running, should be checked. And everything else is default. System, everything is default. And CPU, everything is default. And now graphics. You have uh, two APIs. If you have NVIDIA graphic card, you should go with OpenGL and if you have AMD graphic card you should go with Vulkan. I have my NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti so I'm using OpenGL but it's not so simple because I remember that OpenGL had some issues with uh, POC emulation so if your game crash or freeze in some point you should try Vulkan even if you are normally using OpenGL. I've made comparison of these two APIs. It's in description under this video. Uh, use disk shader cache. This should be checked. And uh, this is very important that OpenGL has much better shader cache support because user can save OpenGL shader cache and if you are using Vulkan user will delete uh, disk shader cache for Vulkan use asynchronous GPU emulation this is very important, this should be checked as you can see on this little video uh, asynchronous GPU emulation is much faster and some games don't even work without asynchronous GPU emulation I remember when I disabled this I had only black screen with sound so this should be definitely checked uh, this one used NVDEC emulation it's for intro videos and in-game videos so if you can't see your in-game videos or something like that you should control this now in advanced use vsync opengl only uh, i never had any issues with this one uh, i think it doesn't matter if it's turned off or on for your uh, speed but if you have some very old graphic card or slow graphic card it might help you to improve your speed I think this should be checked. Now use assembly shaders and use asynchronous shader building. I've disabled these two because I had some terrible graphic issues. Uh, 
So if you have something like this, like a flickering screen or black stripes or black bars on your screen, you should disable these two because it's still experimental. But if it works for you, uh, it will give you great improvement, especially when you are playing your game for the first time and you don't have uh, shaders yet. But for me, it is uh, disabled. Use fast GPU time. I don't think it will affect your emulation. Audio. Everything is default. Now, controls. I'm using very old Xbox controller and it works just fine. It's very easy to map these buttons. So if you are using any new gamepad, it should work for you. My left stick is my left analog stick on my gamepad. D-pad is my D-pad. Right stick is my right analog stick on my uh, gamepad. And this is very important. Uh, I have not set this L button. It's left shoulder. And I'm using this button for shake. It's motion one. It's very important in some games. Like in Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, when you capture a frog and you have to jump really high. There's no other way than use this motion one. It's shake. Uh, another example is uh, when you are climbing and you want to climb faster. This will help you. And uh, when you capture this flying creature and you want to fly higher, higher, it gives you some boost. So motion should be definitely checked. And this configure is uh, default. Now vibrations should be definitely checked because uh, some levels in Super Mario Odyssey are playable only with uh, vibrations. Now, console mode, uh, docked versus undocked. If you have older graphic card or slow CPU, you should use undocked. It's a little bit faster. For me, it's like uh, 3 FPS, but if you have uh, some old PC, it should be a bigger difference. Uh, docked has better graphics and better details. So this is just my basic configuration and I hope you like this video and if you have any questions about configuration of Yuzu feel free to ask in comments below and if you like this video you can hit like button or subscribe button and thanks for watching.